I'm Ella McCarville with The Daily Wildcat. I'm here with prominent YouTuber, filmmaker, and University of Arizona alumnus Darius Britt, who gave a seminar called Personal Branding, Thriving in the Era of Social Media on January 28th. Darius, tell us a bit about yourself. Um, so I did the YouTube thing and um, started YouTube in 20... 13, been doing it for seven years now, so kind of an old head. I don't know if you can see gray hair popping out yet, but uh, and uh, did a feature film, actually two feature films in that span, and also released a number of short films. And on YouTube, I do more like filmmaking, lifestyle tips, tutorials. We share the films, breakdowns, and all that. So it's like a kit and caboodle. Mm. So in your seminar, you talked about how to stay relevant in social media. So how do you build a following in the first place? So if you're trying to build a following nowadays, uh, actually practically any time, you have to have something to offer people. It can't just be like, hey, look at me, I'm awesome. Like, you have to offer some, some form of value, you know, whether it be information. They say you're either a painkiller or a pleasure filler. So if you're a painkiller, you're offering information, lifestyle tips, you're solving people's problems. Mm -hmm. If you're a pleasure filler, that, you know, is more along the lines of the entertainment, but there's also things you can do to uh, offer even more value, you know, like inspiration, your origin stories, where you're going, what are you about? I mean, that's a big thing that people connect with, but that's the fundamental of it, offering value. Mm. Um, so how has YouTube fared for you as a platform for some of your work? And then how has it helped you? So as a platform, uh, it's given me opportunities that didn't exist like before YouTube, because, you know, before YouTube and streaming platforms like YouTube, you had to go to, uh, you know, like studios, talk shows, it was like a curated thing you had to do and usually it was a very expensive thing. Mm. So people like you and I couldn't get our voices out mm. unless there was money involved. But with YouTube it's essentially free distribution and Twitter and Instagram, all those are like free distribution. So um, so that, that in itself has been a game changer. And for my work, and then in terms of reaching people, same thing. It's like you have direct access to a marketplace, and you can create things and see how people take them. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, see what people find useful and what people don't. Mm -hmm. So it's a and also a really good uh, tool for community building as well. Um, so why do you think you have become relevant in the first place on social media? Is it because of your craft, your teaching? your proficiency in social media or a combination? Or I think it's a combination. It's not any one thing. I'd say it's a lot of small things. Um, and first, the, the whole term relevance is a, that's a very malleable term because I think um, it really just boils down to service. Like, are you doing something people find useful? If the answer is yes, you're relevant. It doesn't matter if you have 5,000 views or 500 views or 10,000 or 1,000. Are you doing something that someone else is finding valuable that makes you relevant? Um, in terms of you know, my career and what I value most, I, I look more for the craftsmanship behind it. Everyone I've seen who has sustainable careers like over the long term, not, not your flashes in the pan, but people who are consistently doing well, they prize craft over product. You know, they're not view chasing or whatever. It's more about how can I do what I'm doing really well? How can I master the basics so well that it looks easy? That to me is more valuable. I'd say the best advice I could give is small tweaks make big peaks. It's not about the big things. It's about doing the small things well. That is going to open all the doors for you. That's the, the difference between waiting for opportunities and creating opportunities. Work hard, fail often. You're going to learn more from your failures than your successes. And do a lot of small projects, like a ton of small projects back to back. Start small, work your way up. I think that would be the best advice. Well, thank you for your time. Um, you can see more of Darius on his YouTube channel, D4 Darius. And you can read the story about him in the Daily Wildcat on wildcat.arizona.edu. Thank you. Thank you. Well, awesome. Yeah.